Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you a demonstration on a new type of regression analysis for panel data. Uh, before I show you, I will give you some background that this model is used uh, when your data has endogeneity in the panel data and uh, and then the data is also dynamic so you try to use the GMM version of Arilano bond or blender bond model and on it there is a special problem that can be that your distribution is uh, discontinuous or there is a kink in the distribution so for example we have studied kink demand curve in uh, microeconomics or we also studied that in macroeconomics, the supply curve can be kinked because the prices are sticky going up or going down. So I will first of all give you the example. So the data set I have used is that it is the data for the world and Y is GDP and its log is also calculated. C is the prices and F is the cost of fuel. So even though data has some missing values, but still it will run. So I will declare data xt set id here so data is declared then now what i will do i will show you the command so help xt hen reg so this is the command this is dynamic panel data model line for threshold and endogeneity so you can check for threshold in two ways either allowing a kink that can be that any one of the variable has a change in slope or allowing a discontinuity and, and both of the features can be used in static model of GMM or, uh, uh, to handle endogeneity or dynamic model. Okay, so when you install this command, so you have to install it because it's not already there in this data. So you can open this paper to read the documentation. It's already available online. So I will run this example in front of you. So uh, XT hand reg and the dependent variable y and then c and f and i will say endogenous endogenous variable is c and then instruments i have is f and if i run only this command it will say that the command is there is a spelling mistake so it's n reg so it has estimated a discontinuous distribution function so you can notice that a log a dependent variable a log of dependent variable independent variables intercept and independent variables this is before and this is after discontinuous so the effects are there and r is the the point at which the distribution is being changing so r is the value of the the, the endogenous variable so if i say some C, you notice that the C value is from 29 to 3879, so it is in between. So at value set is somewhere here, the, the slope changes and, and the values are here. So you can notice that the slope uh, is not statically significant. So we cannot show that slope of independent variable changes before and after that discontinuous point. So what you can do it again is that you can say that let's make a static model. So in static model, there will be no lag of dependent variable. Now you can see that the slopes are changing. Before the turning point, uh, the, the prices are increasing Y, but beyond the turning point, the prices are decreasing Y. So this way, and this is the fuel prices, it is increasing. So this is a part of a price, and this is also decreasing. So the turning point has been this, the, 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 this, uh, the point where distribution is discontinuous beyond before and after are changing. So you can also rather than change see the change in the slope for all the models, you can add static and then say kink. So it will only check for uh, one variable. So that is for the 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 the, the endogenous variable. So you can see that uh, after the the Kink, the slope is decreasing and the, the turning point is this and then if you, you, you can run it in, uh, in dynamic form so if you remove this it will work like this and it is saying that after the kink the c value is decreasing 
and the value is this so this way you can estimate this model so i will open it up again xt xt hen reg so this model is useful to to estimate the model the name is made after the the developer of this model and you can see their names uh, in the publication so this model was developed by co and shin in 2016 and and then it is further developed by a uh, further developed for stata by them and if you want to see who developed this model let's let's have a look so this is a paper i opened it up earlier and if you come down this model was uh, developed by Henson in 1999 and then further developed and so you can you can see that the name came from hen so xt hen uh, reg okay so this way you can remember its name so if you have any queries uh, you can ask it here so this model usually is uh, usually runs when when you have an n more than t otherwise what will happen is the moment condition will go bigger and it will not be able to run the model so you need to make sure yeah, that n is at least bigger than t otherwise you can only able to run one variable at a time you, multiple variables will not work so if, if you want to improve the model you can add more instruments in the command just like i have i am using only one instrument you can add more you can add in, in lag of the endogenous variable as an instrument uh, too so this way you can improve the model so in this video i have tried to give you the logic behind why we use this continuous distribution model and 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 if there is endogeneity so why uh, endogeneity in most cases in panel data endogeneity can come because of two reasons one because there is a lag dependent variable or there is a there is a reverse causality so i have used the supply gdp and prices so they they cause each other so there is inherent endogeneity in it and then we already know that there can be a kinked curve kinked supply curve which we already already kinked kinked curves that can that can exist so theoretically it and it is significant here so thank you very much for watching do try this model in your own theory subject and then let me know how this works